Hey everyone, welcome to 30 Seconds or Less. This is our fourth weekly installment, and I am your host, Chris Trinkle, Daily Tar Heel Sports Editor. We've got a special episode for you this week. This is the ACC Big Ten Challenge Edition, so all five of our picks are going to be ACC Big Ten Challenge games. Okay, so our first game of the week, we're going to Madison, Wisconsin, where NC State travels to face the Badgers. NC State is actually undefeated to start the year, 6-0, and but, you know, they haven't really faced a quality opponent yet. Enter in the Badgers. Ethan Happ is averaging career highs in rebounding and assists and still averaging over 17 points per game. Now, Torin Dorn's a fantastic scorer for the Wolfpack, averaging over 18 a game. But the Badgers are really a tough team. Look for them to bounce back this year, and I think that they get the win 76-69. Now we're traveling to Durham, where two of college basketball's oldest blue bloods are facing off at Cameron Indoor Stadium. We've got Indiana who's had a pretty good start to the season with head coach Archie Miller facing off against the Blue Devils. The last time we saw these Blue Devils, they lost in the Maui Invitational Final to Gonzaga. It was a close game, but some bad possessions there to end it. But I expect the Blue Devils to bounce back against Indiana. Zion Williamson's going to go off for 25-plus points, and I expect the Blue Devils to win 90-70, to a big win there. So now we're going to our Wednesday slate of games. We've got three games that we're picking that are on Wednesday. The first one that I'm going to go with is... Virginia, who is going to face Maryland, a former ACC school. And Maryland has been undefeated to start the season. Both teams actually have been undefeated. But I expect the Cavaliers to get the win here because they face some tough opponents, including Wisconsin. And DeAndre Hunter is having a huge sophomore season. He's leading the team in scoring and rebounding, averaging over 16 a game for those Cavaliers. Terrapins have two guys averaging over 16 a game, but I really think it's going to be the Cavalier defense that carries the way. I expect Virginia to win 68-59. to Now we're going to go to Tallahassee, where Purdue is going to face Florida State. Now, Florida State is a team I really liked. I already picked them once earlier in the year, and I got that one correct, so I'm going to go with them again. Really, what's shocking about Florida State is they have such a balanced scoring attack. Terrence Mann leads the way. He averages over 13 a game in scoring, and he leads the team in rebounding. But the Seminoles have six different players averaging at least eight points per game. Now, Purdue has Carson Edwards Jr., who's averaging over 25 a game himself and is a preseason All-American. But I like the Seminoles to win this one. I think it's going to be a really good game, close, 85-81. to 81. Our last game of the week features UNC facing off at Michigan. Now, last year, these two teams played in Chapel Hill. UNC had a double-digit victory, but I think it's going to be different this time around. Michigan is absurd defensively, only averaging 48.3 points per game against their opponents. Now, UNC scoring over 90 a game, but I think that that's going to come down against the Wolverines. You know, Jordan Poole's a guy that can really hit it from deep. Charles Matthews Jr. is another guy that is very good for that team. I think the Tar Heels are going to struggle here. You know, Kobe White could have some struggles in this tough road environment. I expect Michigan to win this one. I think it's going to be close, but I'm going to pick the Wolverines 78-72. to that's it for this week's episode of 30 Seconds or Less. Let us know who's going to win in the comments below. I'm your host, Chris Trinkle.